I would have done CPR for 24 hours. I would have, I mean, I knew I was not leaving his side until help came. She did some miraculous CPR that day. If you write about this, you should get it. It is a miracle that Susan Richardson and her son Robbie are even able to talk about college scholarship applications these days. A photograph on the wall is a vivid reminder of a night last summer when Robbie was considered clinically dead. It was nearly midnight when Robbie was upstairs watching a movie with his brother Hayden. And all of a sudden I started to like kind of sweat. I just kind of felt like this pounding in my chest and I was like, I'm like, okay, this is weird. He was like, geez, my heart is beating really, really fast. And I supposedly walked into the bathroom and then boom, I was down. Bill and I had just finished watching a movie. We'd had pizza with the kids. Susan was in the kitchen with her friend Bill Christ, who was about to head home. And all of a sudden, I heard a crash like no other crash I had heard. It sounded like a bag of bowling balls and the entire house shook. And I ran into the bathroom and then I screamed downstairs to my mom and Bill. And I immediately ran up the stairs and there was Robbie, lifeless. Hayden called 911, and Susan, who hadn't taken CPR since high school, listened intently to 911 operator Yvonne Harrell. God bless her, God bless her. Um, within 15 seconds, she had had us check his vitals and had us start to administer CPR. I ran downstairs and I was like outside waiting for the ambulance to come. And I had this moment where I thought maybe I should ask Bill to take over or even Hayden because I was feeling extremely insecure about if what I was doing was effective or not. But then I realized this is my child, this is my son, this is my job, and if something happens, this needs to sit with me. You're just not used to running on 16-year-old kids because 16-year-old kids just don't have heart events. And as it progressed, we were able to recognize exactly that we had a patient that was in, that had a, a rare cardiac disorder. Doctors at Legacy Meridian Park Hospital and later at Emanuel confirmed that Robbie was suffering from a syndrome that disrupts electrical signals in his heart. During a week-long stay in ICU, Robbie was treated and eventually released. I was informed a couple days ago that my lacrosse team is going to be holding my number for me just in case I'm able to play next year. If it hadn't been for really what Susan was doing prior to us getting there, I, I'm pretty certain this would have been a lot different outcome. The only reason I'm still sitting here right now is because of CPR. One thing I definitely think CPR saves lives, but also I think more highly of my mom. There were many pieces, many heroes in this story, and everybody played their role but it really did start with the CPR.